Hi, good morning guys. Welcome to Morning Devotion um, with HEDM once again. It's the, almost the end of the month. Actually, today's the last day. <laughs> and um, welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless. Come on in. Um, come with an open heart and open mind to be encouraged and to hear an encouraging word. Um, this morning, I'm going to be talking to you about learning or listening to the message of your trials. So I'm going to talk to you about listening to the message of your trials. Um, let me just sing a little verse for you. <laughs> And um, then we're going to dive right into the message. Through all the changes of life in trouble and in joy. The praises of my God shall sing my heart and tongue in blood. And I'm going to skip. <laughs> oh, me. Just wrote through all the changing scenes of life in trouble and in joy the praises of my God shall sing my heart and my tongue employed so as we talk this morning about learning or listening to the try to your trials message um, I say this we all know each one of us no matter where we are no matter if we're rich, no matter if we're poor, whether we're single, whether we're married, whether we have a family, whether we don't have a family, no matter what category in life you fit into, each one of us have trials. We have had trials at some point in our lives and we will continue to have trials um, until the day we die, we will have trials. So you know when i think of trials and learning or listening from the message every trial that we get and i've learned this through experience you know um because most of the times when we go through trials and stuff we tend to just get into pity parties and we feel sorry for ourselves and we're busy asking god why me why me why i can't get out of this why i can't get out of that why is this keep happening why is it reoccurring all my life i've been seeing trouble all my life i've been struggling but what i have learned through experience is to stop murmuring so much stop feeling sorry for myself and what i've learned to do is ask god what do you want me to learn from this trial? And that has been such a powerful thing in my life that it takes away bitterness. Um, it takes away resentment. It takes away anger. Because when we are going through trials, we want to be mad. We want to blame. And as we want to be mad, we want to blame somebody because we want to know what is the reason why who is at fault for what is going on with us and a lot that's why a lot of times 
people go through trials and they blame people and they blame people wrongfully and nobody wants to take accountability and sometimes it's not that you're doing something wrong sometimes we go through stuff because we made bad choices and sometimes it's not that we made any choice or any bad choice but god wants us to learn something a lesson there's a message there's a message you know, there's a message for us to learn in every situation, but we have to open our hearts and our mind state. And when we open our hearts and our mind state, we overcome. As long as we are not open and we have not accept that God is trying to talk to us and we need to listen, we need to listen to the message and then learn from the message because listening alone in itself is not enough. <laughs> because we listen, it's like reading or it's like the theory and we don't put practical. We have to have practical things that we do. So after you you, you have gone through a process and you learn something, you must, you listen, first you listen to it and you would have learned something. You would hear what it is God was trying to say. To what was he trying to teach me? Why is God allowing me to go through this trial? And when you come to the understanding we are supposed to 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 act accordingly now now it's going to be based on experience too many times we when we go through stuff and i speak this through experience you know i'm not saying this like you know y'all have this or y'all have that i have been through these things personally where i'm going through stuff and i'm not oh even i've been through stuff and the first wrong that i went through i didn't listen to my trial message because I was busy probably sometime being too ashamed because we, we, we fall victim to that. So we can't hear anything about our um, what our trial is trying to teach us because we're too busy being ashamed. Um, we're, pre we're too busy protecting our pride. We're too busy sometimes protecting our privacy. We're, we are too busy um, thinking, you know, that I'm bigger than this. So why did this have to happen to me? So we can't even hear the message that our mess or our trial or our tribulation is trying to teach us that is only going to empower us. Hmm? Because God doesn't give us trials to kill us. It's, it's not that he, he wants to empower us and it normally helps for the next leg of our journey. Because if think back, how many trials have you been through? Um, that you thought you would not have made it, but you made it. And because of that trial, it made you stronger, right? I don't know about you, but every trial I have been through in my life, when I say everything, every single one of them has made me stronger, has made me into the person that I am today. You know, I look back and I say, wow, I went through this and I went through that. And, you know, there was a, I learned this. Because it's important. It's like school. If you go to school and you don't learn the lesson, you repeat the class. You can't. When the exam comes, if you did not learn, right, or did not listen while the teacher was teaching so that you could have learned your lesson, when the exam comes, we fail. And that's why a lot of us go back and go through stuff over and over and over. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to have different trials. We're going to have different tribulations. But if the same thing is reoccurring in your life, check your listening. Check your listening skills, which means you're not paying attention and you're not listening to the message of your trials. No matter what it is, I kid you not, no matter what it is, because when you start to think like that, you would see how everything just makes sense. And you'd be like, oh, okay, so that's what you was trying to teach me, God. And you would look back and be like, oh, you know, that's what I needed to learn. And I needed that trial to teach me that, to, for me to, 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 be, to learn that lesson. Because there are some trials that I went through in my life, I needed that. It was hard when I was going through it, but I needed that because today, because I listen, today I'm stronger. Today I'm wiser. Today I'm better, right? And as I say that, let me let me let me read for you. Let me take my my um my 
for care. And let me read, let me read, let me read this for you from the Bible. And hear what it says. Hear what First Peter 5 says, right? First Peter 5. I want to read from you from verse 8. Don't get confused. Don't make, don't make the trial um make you be so bitter and cloudy in judgment and so hurt that you miss the message because it's it's just it's it's just a uh it, it, it's just a distraction it's just another distraction trust me trust god <laughs> trust god hear what hear what first peter 5 says from verse 8 it says be sober well balanced and self-discipline be alert and cautious at all times that enemy of yours so you have an enemy that enemy of yours the devil prowls around like a roaring lion fiercely hungry seeking someone to devour but resist him be firm in your faith against his attack rooted established immovable Knowing that the same experiences, which is knowing that the same trials of suffering are being experienced by your brothers and sisters throughout the world, you do not suffer alone. After you have suffered, here's the key. After you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace who imparts his blessings and favor who called you to his own eternal glory in Christ, will himself complete, confirm, strengthen, and establish you, making you what you ought to be. So in other words, it's going to make you strong, but you got to listen to the message of your trials. This is important. Be other, so you don't keep going through the same grinding process, <laughs> right? This is important. Listen to the message of your trial. Say to yourself, my trial has a message for me. God doesn't allow us to go through anything just for going through things. There is a purpose. He's a God of intention. He does things with an intent and there's a purpose. There's a vision that he has already foreseen and he knows what we need to get to the next level. He knows what we're going to need for the next 10 level. And sometimes what you need for, for level 10, he's teaching you in your trial at level one. But if you don't listen to the message in trial one, you're not going to make it when you get the trial 10 because there's going to be more trials that you face. To every trial you overcome, there's like five more that's going to come and they're going to come harder. When you're in a class and, and you keep going and you're being promoted to the next class, the next class, the lesson doesn't get easier. The lesson gets more difficult, but you have to now listen more attentively. So listen attentively to the message of your trial. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God keep you. And again, I love you. God loves you. Stay sweet in Christ. I hope you're empowered. Listen. Really take time out and listen. You can go back also and listen to old messages. You know how we, we save messages in our phones, um, whether it be a text or whether it be voice messages, and we go back and we play them or we go back and we read them. Take a minute and look back and see what it is you missed along the way, what messages and signs you missed along the way. Because Paraventia, because of the messages and the signs that you missed along the way, is the reason why you are at the place where you're at or you haven't overcome what you're going through right now yet. It's not too late to look back and press forward. It is not too late to look back and press forward. Get the message. Listen to the message of your trial. 
God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And God keep you in the name of Jesus Christ, the soon coming King. Be empowered. May his grace cover you. May you stay under his umbrella. I pray, almighty God, that, that he opens your heart, that he opens your mind, that you would hear his word, that you would receive it, that it will take root in your heart, that you would bring forth good fruit in due season and in due time. I pray, God, that you will continue to endeavor to be a better version of the yesterday yesterday you every day according to God's divine grace according to God's divine authority according to God's divine will for you God be your helper listen to the message of your trial God bless you